We know we can generate electricity from the sun using solar panels and the wind using wind turbines, of course, but there's a whole new way of generating electricity most of us have never even heard of. Yeah, so meteorologist Keely Chalmers and photojournalist Amy Hunter take us inside a research lab in Boulder where engineers are making power by simply moving material. Imagine a future where simply driving along a highway or even walking down a sidewalk could produce electricity to power, say, streetlights or traffic signals. That future is now for researchers at the Flatirons campus of the National Renewable Energy Laboratory in Boulder. Inside this building, engineers have built a new kind of clean energy generator. We refer to it as a hexagonal distributed embedded energy converter. So it's an inherently flexible. A centimeter sized electric generator that when weaved together with others like it, make an ultra flexible power generating material. How does it work? Simply put, it's just like static potential energy. So the same way that when you get shocked by something from static. But here, that static electricity is captured and used. In the ocean, the material could harness the constant motion of the waves. You could turn these into a tube, for instance, and use it to replace uh, mooring lines, which are lines that connect anchors to boats or buoys. In pavement, it could generate power with every passing car or every step. And as you, you, know, you step on these, they can stretch and generate electricity. You could pretty much replace this with anything that is typically like a flexible structure that gets moved around a lot. Like a flag, for example, and maybe even someday our clothes. So that's one way that we could use this to harvest electricity just from people moving about their everyday lives. A way to harness potential energy that has limitless potential and could truly revolutionize how we power our always moving world. The possibilities are endless. In Boulder, Keely Chalmers with photojournalist Amy Hunter, 9 News.